Oh, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Kenpachi's about to do the damn thing. Big. Hey guys, welcome back to Big Time. Thank you so much for joining me. We're back again for another episode of Bleach. I am so excited to check this out. So last week we ended up, Ichigo got trapped. Each episode has gotten darker and darker and darker. So where are we going to end up? It's not looking good for the Shinigami. The Quincy's are looking unstoppable. Like literally, I can't think of any way the Shinigami can, can defeat the Quincy, even with Ichigo. I can't contain my excitement for this thing. So I love it so much. I'm so passionate about Bleach. I just love sharing my passion with you guys. So stay tuned each week for more Bleach reactions and then other shows that I watch as well. But for now, we're going to focus on Bleach. For you new folks who saw the video last week and you're tuning in to see where we go this week, make sure you subscribe because this is going to eventually become a big time movement. No pun intended. But seriously though, we're going to like geek out and be happy about it, not give a shit about what people think, not be embarrassed, just enjoy nerding out on our favorite topics. Well guys, let's jump into this. Let's go, let's freaking go. Somebody's attacking there. What is he doing? Something's not right though. Is he possessed? What the f is that? Man, all hell is breaking loose. Ichigo is about to lose his shit. Uh oh. Wrath as a light. Oh, man. Yo, it's about to get hype. It's about to get hype. Oh, it's Kenpachi in this one. Oh, shit. The jail. This guy's been trouble for a minute. Uh-oh. Ooh. Who was that? Exactly who the was that? That was a Sangbakto. Who was that? Smart. Got to protect him at all costs. Oh, shit. He's afraid? No way. Oh. Damn, that's deep. Oh, oh that's incapacitating right there. So you'd end up being frozen in fear, being unable to move at all. Jeez. Damn. He's like, I don't think so. Deep. Ooh. Except that maybe. Damn. The Quincy are no joke. What are those? Like flies? Man, this dude is. Oh, shit. Man. Still. Okay, what is he? 
so they can use their bot guy? No way. So they can steal them and then use them? Yo, that is OP. Not good. Oh, he got him. Point blank. Wow. Oh no. Just don't pull out your Bankai. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, the Quincy are untouchable right now. He's using it again. Ooh. Again? That's three. He took three to the face. No! Whew, that was close. Oh, dude messed up. <laughs> He's like, you got to go back and read, mother. <laughs> Yo, this is, uh, this might be it for him. So he took three Bankai attacks straight up. Yo, it's not looking good for the Shinigami at all. Oh. What? No way. Did he? Did he just die? Yo, how can they beat these guys? Like, decimated. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Kenpachi's about to do the damn thing. He took out three of them. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he ripped his throat. <laughs> Kenpachi's the man. He's a freaking monster. Man. Straight for the king. He blocked that shit with his arm. Yo, I, I can't see a way for the Shinigami to get past this. I really can't. It's looking bleak as hell. God, man. Unstoppable. He killed oh boy. Oh, oh, they got to get this guy. They got to get him. Captain Commander's in the motherfucking house. Yes. Burn his ass. Oh. Oh my. Dude, no, he's not. Desecrating the memory of his number one. Dude, this dude, what is it going to do? Nothing. Ooh, this is going way back. I would love to see a series about going way back like this. Like Soul Society back in the day. 
He's like, you have a bankai? I'm curious what it what it what it does. So that's how he got the scar. Wow. This is sad. Wow, yo, this is... Man. This is deep. Nothing. Oh, he did take a little damage. Ooh. <laughs> Out of here. Oh, man. Respect. Respect. Ooh, I got chills from that, y'all. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, he's serious. Damn right he is. The tide's about to freaking turn. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, dude, that's some Wolverine claws. Facts. Get your asses up and back in the game. Ooh -wee. Exactly. Whew. Oh man, yo, I still have goosebumps all over my arms. That was so freaking cool. Damn. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is actually a question. So we know Ichigo's trapped in Hueco Mundo. Quilgi, I think that's his name, the uh, Quincy there who's got Ichigo trapped, was about to attack the gang and he got slashed in half. But we don't know who it was. Who in the hell was that? We know that there was a Zangpakto. We don't know who it belonged to, who it was. Someone obviously powerful to slash him in half. But who the hell was it? You know, it's weird. The first thing that jumped in my mind, maybe it's Ichigo's dad. Okay, and then we saw the last stand of Byakua. That was tough to see. I mean, dude has been around since the beginning. And he literally, he hit him with three freaking Bankai back to back to back. Nobody can withstand that. My dude was definitely like smashed into the wall and was just gone. So I think that might be it. I think it might be it. So we said it in the first episode. They set the tone. Shit got real immediately. People are falling. We're losing people left and right. Soldiers are just dropping. And what was crazy in that scene was that the Quincy was able to fire Byakuya's Bankai back at him. So not only can they steal the Bankai, they can utilize them, which changes the game. I don't know how the Shinigami are going to fight back. How are they going to level the playing field with this? What are they going to do? I mean, we all know Ichigo is going to break free and make his way back. Is he going to be enough? Like the Quincy, yo, they are untouchable right now. These guys are no freaking joke. And then another bright spot of this episode, there are quite a few of them. The return of my boy. My boy, Kenpachi, came back. And man, he came back with a vengeance. Kenpachi came back and took out three single-handedly. And brutally, too. The one that really stuck out was he, he snatched the throat out of one of the Quincy's. Like classic Kenpachi move. And then he attacked the king straight up. No fear in this guy. He might be my favorite Shinigami. He, he's just so awesome. There's a lot of mystery around him. We have not seen his Bankai yet. So when we see that thing, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to freaking nerd out like hard. <laughs> We've never seen it before. I can't even imagine what it is, but I'm sure we're going to see it. Hopefully we don't see it and it gets stolen in the next episode. If he's fighting the king, actually, does he even know yet that they steal them? 
I don't know how, how much in communication he is with the other Shinigami. Has he just been doing his own thing and not really paying attention? Oh, shit. That, I just thought about that. He may lose his Bankai as soon as we see it. Oh, they can't do that to us. They can't do it. And then the ultimate part of this episode, Captain Commander Unleashed. Yo, guys, did you feel that power in this, in, in this part of the episode? Did you feel that? Like the flashback, the anger, all of that. It just, I'm getting goosebumps again, thinking about it. It was such a powerful scene, guys. The Captain Commander has always been, we, we know that this guy is super powerful. We all know that. But just seeing him like lose it, and just to go all out, first time we're seeing this, man, it was a beauty to behold. It was so freaking awesome. And of course, what brought this out was that the Quincy revealed that he was the one that did it. I was the one that killed your guy. I'm going to use your guy's Bankai against you. So that right there. And Captain Commander lost his shit. We get a flashback and we learn so much about their relationship and where the scars came from. And, and to see the relationship between the master and, and the disciple how how tight that bond is this was such a fantastic moment in bleach oh man it it, it, get, it puts a whole new respect on the captain commander's name for me and i'm sure for you as well but man that was so dope and then to see captain commander lose his shit and give the first lieutenant a proper send-off he fried the fuck out of that that quincy guy like he literally baptized him in holy fire showing total respect for the first lieutenant, putting respect on his name. And man, that whole scene right there is just, that was my favorite scene of the whole episode by far. And then to close out the episode, the captain commander is revitalized. So we've got a pissed off captain commander, which we've never seen before. This shit's about to get insane, y'all. Like real talk, this is about to go to a whole new level. So all the Shinigami, they're feeling it. They're like, okay, Captain Commander's pissed. The whole Soul Society feels it. We're feeling you, Captain Commander. We're feeling you, and we're gonna join you in the front line, and we're gonna battle these Quincy's with, with everything we've got. Oh man, they're just, ah! I'm telling you guys, this is this stuff is just, oh, I'm, I'm nerding out. I'm, I'm geeking out right now officially. Okay, I'm gonna settle down here, guys. I'm getting way too, excited for this, but I can't help it. I just can't help it. I love it. Thank you guys for joining me on Big Time this week. Come back next week. This is a series. We're going to keep this thing going. Every week, we're going to bring this out to you. We're going to have this big time reaction to Bleach. Man, I can't wait. All right, guys, I hope you all have a great rest of the week, a great weekend, and I'll see you next time on Big Time.